Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? This is your man, Corey G, your New York Uber driver, bringing you another video. Today's topic, how can you drive Uber in New York City without TLC? Here's the scenario, guys. Let's say you don't have a TLC driver's license, so you're driving out, let's say, in any of the suburbs, Westchester County, Long Island. So let's just say, for example, Westchester. You're up in White Plains, New York. You get a call, and it's a JFK run. Great. Heading to the airport. That's a good almost hour drive. That's not going to be, that's going to be pretty good as far as when you complete it. But here's the problem. You get to JFK, you drop them off. They even give you a tip. Great, fabulous. But now you have nowhere else to go. Remember, in New York City, you have to have a TLC driver's license. So what do you do at this point? Well, you have two options. One, if you're in JFK, then you can just hop over and head east and head over to Long Island and work out there. Now, Unless you're that person, hey, listen, you like Westchester, you live up there, and then you're familiar with Westchester, you don't know nothing about Long Island, and <clears throat> you want to be up in Westchester. Well, your other options now is taking that long hike, cross, you know, crossing the bridge, and then into the Bronx, and then in the Bronx into Westchester um, County. But what if you can do a little bit of Uber? You can and here's how. Do Uber Eats, guys. Yes, Uber Eats. Now, some of you might be saying, ah, Uber Eats, nah. Well, as as some of you might have seen on your on your Uber platform, where they're asking you to um, combine your um, your regular Uber with Uber Eats, that's a good area to think about, guys. Okay, I have talked to many Uber Eats drivers. They're averaging about five hundred to seven hundred dollars a week driving Uber Eats, and here's what helps, guys. Now, let's say for instance you are Westchester, right? You drive in Westchester. You just dropped them off. Now you're going to do Uber Eats on your way back to Westchester. So this way, at least all that time is not just wasted on travel time going back. Here, you can probably get pickups along the way. That's not bad, guys. You, you definitely want to think about using Uber Eats to your advantage. Uber Eats. There's areas doing Uber Eats where you can actually get some work done. Especially, like I said, for those traveling to Westchester, you cut through Queens, um, cut through Queens, around Queens Boulevard, heading up to Astoria. Let's say, for instance, you want to head towards that Triborough Bridge. Oh, excuse me, not Triborough Bridge. RFK Bridge. Those who live in New York for umpteen years, you know what I'm talking about when I say Triborough Bridge. Heading towards the Triborough Bridge. Or... Whitestone, you're going, heading towards the Whitestone Bridge. Guys, use that Uber Eats because that will help you with that time lag when you have no rides because you don't have a TLC. Think about it. Uber Eats, it can help and it will help. This is your man, Corey G, your New York Uber driver. You and I will become successful together.